Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Legend of Grimrock. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to hang out with me as we deal with that guy, because last episode, at the end of last episode, and, okay, so we have covered this one, and this one as well, so, hmm, yeah. Now, our only, our only possible destination is, did I jump down this ha this hole right here? I seem to have, yes, I I have. Oh, no, 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 that was badly judged on, on my part. Hello, how are you doing this fine day? Not, th not that well, you're pretty fiery. Come get me, please. No, no, don't get me there, because I think that's a dead end. Seriously, dude, can you please do me the favor, the favor of coming here? No? Oh, come here, man. Oh, thank you. Good, thank you. Good, good, good. And, oh, down it goes. Very good. That was very good. And Dan and his uh, double shot ability. Hmm, this one, what does it do? Is there a gargoyle over there? There's a gargoyle over there. Let's check the... Uh, so this sends me over there. Yep, that is... Uh, both places are... Okay, so this... Oh, quick reflexes right there, and that is it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Is this open? It's still open. This one is closed, though. So onwards I go. My torch is fainting, and there's a... Um... There you go. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, so I need to wait, wait for the um, slime to come and get me, because if I... Strafe on her, there, then she's gonna attack me, or it's gonna attack me, or whatever the gender of that hideous green slime is. Let's leave these torches behind, because they are really not worthwhile to carry around. Let's keep an eye out for... Uh, oh, that was risky of me. Let's keep an eye out for secrets. Also, speaking of secrets, uh, last episode, I'm pretty sure... Uh, it was last episode, uh, I was saying that I needed to check the map. Turns out, oh, I'm badly positioned right there. I'm really, really badly positioned. Okay, good. This one is no longer. And... There you go. And you as well. Come here. Oh, okay, over there is, is good. Nobody's getting sick. Or... Yep. No, no slimes on my back. I don't want none of that for today. Okay, so... Up, and there he goes. So yeah, what I was saying is I needed to see this note. And I was forgetting where I got that. Checking my map, however. Look at that. This is the stairway to hell. That leads, that leads us to this little maze over here in the archives level. And this stairway... Look at that. Look at that. That's the map. So I might as well just leave that behind. Because it's useless. I already know that secret. I don't need your help, little little friend, little friendly map. Or whoever wrote or draw, drew you. Anyway, moving on. Let's... let's oh, I got a throwing axe. That's gonna go for Dan. Dan is very, very into... Very much into thrown weapons. Let's bring this torch along. Yes, please. Also, what's that? Okay, good. Uh, so, mm -hmm. nothing in here. Nothing in here either. Nothing in here. This doesn't open anything, but there's... Oh, badly. Badly. It went very badly. Hmm. What is that? Yep. It's some sort of... Yep. Okay, so let's check the map. I can go over there and I think I'm uh, more interested in this location than anywhere else because this one doesn't have fireballs. Ooh, but it has slimes. That green... Ooh, there's a teleporter over there. Good. Come here. Oh, badly. Badly? I'm saying badly. What I I don't know what I'm saying. Um, anyway, Annette is sick. And I need to use... Uh, Penumbra's spells more often because she deals quite a lot of damage. I'm just trying to save her um, her um, 
endurance or mana or whatever it's called. Oh, another another character becomes sick, and uh, illness or sickness or disease or whatever that that thing is, uh, it goes away over time. So I'm not really that worried about that. Oh, another torch that's gone the way of the dodo. Well, you're staying there, little mate. You're staying right there. Uh, and okay, nothing in here. Let's check for secrets again. And oh, got it. Some bits over here, and a teleporter. Hmm. That probably takes me over there. Exactly. But why would I want to come over here if I have these nice pits to throw myself into? And why is this door closed? No reason. There's apparently no reason why this door would be closed. And no secrets in here. And don't fret. I know. I know I'm gonna throw myself down those pits. But before that, I wanna... Oh, there's plenty of... Oh, man. Oh... What? Okay, I'm not... Oh, na man. Bother. Shiza. Oh, man. Okay. Good. So a couple of characters. Where did you come from? Where did that slime come from? Seriously. Did it spawn out of nowhere? Probably did. It probably did. Oh, no one... Um, they're not sick anymore. Let's rest. Let's rest right here, right now. And there we go. Oh, another, another dream, another collective dream of cogs and uh, gears. They keep all the machinery and mechanisms working in the dungeon. All but one that sits in the tunnels below. It needs to be repaired so we can leave this place. Dot, dot, dot. Only a little bit further. Well, this guy, whoever he is, is uh, wants me to repair a mechanism below. And uh, those who corrupted this dungeon... Oh, hello. Why are you there? And where am I? What? Where am I? Whoa. Is, what? Okay, what happened right now? There's some alchemical ingredients that Penumbra is gonna get gladly take. And this sack is, by the way, gonna be a good, a great place to carry these mushrooms. There you go. And what is going on? Where am I? Oh, so it's a completely different area. So this must be where those slimes came from. And there's... Hmm. Do I... Oh, see? Okay, I'm gonna dance with you, for now. Okay. Oh, I evaded that pretty well. Good, come here. Thank you, another one. And down it goes, thank you. So it looks like these teleporters are a bit disorientating. Disorientating? Where does this take me? Not to the other side. Well, now that we know how to get there, let's jump down this bit. And there's a hideous spider over there. No! Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Okay. What? Oh, boy. Okay, so I need... Oh, man. Ah! Good. So I evaded that. Whatever it was, and I'm not sure that I'm gonna be away from those spiders for very much longer, but even then I need to first eat. Uh, okay, so what kind of food do we have here? We have some of this, that's gonna, yep, that's gonna fill her belly. And let's put this in here, might as well, just like that, because I like keeping things all organized and nice and tidy. Well, I like to, doesn't mean that I usually do. Let's rest, try to regain some some of that lost health, because those poisonous fireballs or whatever, that poisonous bolts maybe, they 
took quite a bit, they, they damaged us quite a bit. And, um, hmm, so this, oh, I'm not sure, oh, Boots of Valor, heavy armor, I like that. I like that very much. It They give 15 protection? Seriously, that's, that's really good. Also, I heard something. What does that do? Oh, it opens the spiders. It lets them come, which is not good. Oh man, I'm gonna have to dance. Good, so one spider down. But an oh, there's a crab. That's bad. Ouch. I didn't mean to do that, but... Oh no, that is bad. That is very bad. Oh man. Stop that. Stop that, silly spider. Oh no, no, no. I'm... Po oh man. Okay, so one guy... There's another crab over here. I'm just gonna heal because I don't have uh, anti-venom poisons at hand. Anti antidote. Yes, please. Oh no, that's the antidote for... For the disease and I just wasted it what an idiot well apparently Dan is poisoned as well well I have time it's not an issue it is not an issue I could dance a little bit more aggressively with this guy but for some reason I have not been doing that let's let's make anti-venom what's it uh, so these are not for snake this is for snake bites yes please one for Dan because he's in pretty bad shape and another one for um, Kalim, please. Yes, 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 thank you, thank you. Now things are going well for now. But let's not get too cocky. Because we never know, we never, never know. Okay, good. So it looks like everyone has at least one healing potion. And we're good to go. Whew, those spiders, man, they were sneaky. So now I need to just run. Run for my life. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's check for secrets, actually, because... Oh... Wait. Ah, I knew it! Look at the amount of... Man! They really don't like us. They don't like us at all. Dan, carry that. Because you're gonna need to eat soon enough. And this takes me somewhere. I really wanted to check for secrets. There's no secrets over here. No secrets over here either. This... Come on. Is there any secrets over there? There's not secrets. I don't think there is. So... Let's go over there. Nope. Don't want that. And over here, nothing. Yeah, this is the place where the spiders were. And there's nothing in here. And this leads me to... Back, back to... Yeah. We fell over there. And I'm gonna... Go over here, and I'm over here, and apparently there's no way of going over there. Is there a secret? There's not a secret. Let's jump down. Hopefully I won't get surrounded by spiders. And a nice shield over there. That is a heavy shield, which unfortunately... Oh, no, actually it's not considered heavy armor. So might as well bring that with me, with Kalim. Kalim is gonna use that. And drop that one on the ground, and there's someone. Oh, there's an ogre. Oh boy. This is not good. Well, I'm gonna do my best. Try and do my best anyway. Oh boy. Because he can attack sideways, and that's really, really dangerous. It's really, really dangerous. If you just like to dance with uh, mobs like that and uh, risk... Okay, we are out of quarrels. Which is not gonna be much of a problem because I, by this stage of the game, I'm dealing loads and loads of damage. So the ogre went down pretty quickly, all things considered. So I fell down this hatch over here. There's a couple of... yeah, three hatches, or three pits. And, uh, this, uh, let's see, uh, nothing in here, nope, nothing in here, and some, oh man, this is a pretty large room, and stair, uh, stairways, uh, upstairs, or going upstairs, and there's a mushroom, and Penumbra is gonna put that, not there, and I'm gonna try and dance with this spider, 
while I do this, oh, you're not gonna get me, little fella. You're not gonna get me. And then, dealing his usual amount of damage. So a couple of milk reeds already, I have to check on those. An experiment, maybe I'll start an episode with the, those quarrels. Yes, I have 10 quarrels, which is good, because now I can attack five times, not just uh, four times and a half. So this room is explored. Oh, there's so many pits. Oh man, this is probably some sort of puzzle room upstairs, which means that if I fell down and met the ogre, oh, there's, there's things casting fireballs or something. Yep, that is not a fireball, but that is a puzzle room. And where the hell am I? Oh, I'm over there, of course. No secrets over here. Always check for secrets. No secrets. None. Yeah, I'm over here. So I came this way. Let's go and check this room. Let's go. Let's go. So that opens. Yep. So it's only one of those magic bolts. I just need to block it. There you go. I'm safe. I'm safe. Now. I need to go over there. Get that very quickly. Check it out. It's... Oh, it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. And by the way, everyone is... Yup. Well, let's give it to Dan. It's okay with that. Let's keep this over here. Let's keep our weaponry in here. This as well, this bone amulet that I don't know what it's for. And actually, I do think it's uh, it decreases... It decreases experience gain, and let's look at our experience, so... 45,000 for Penumbra, 43,000 for Kalim, 44,000 for Anet, 43,000 and 800. So Kalim is, is not very looking very good in terms of experience, so let's give him this amulet. And he's already overburdened. Let's eat. Our food supplies, they're looking good. They're, we're never gonna have a problem with our with food from now on. Let's also get a... Um, let's get a uh, torch from over here. Yep. Like so. And now how do I open that? Is there something over there? Maybe. Yep, there's a secret. I... This was totally instinctive. I did not remember this. Good. So that was just in time. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. No, I don't want nothing to do with you. No, 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 no. How do I get out? Go, cool, man. Oh. Going backwards in these dungeons. It's really, really dangerous. Come here, man. Come the hell here. Oh, that was bad. Bad timing. Timing is everything. In this game and in many other things. And by the way, I'm, I think I'm stuck. I hope I'm not. Oh, that was bad. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, I think I'm think I lost. I think I'm lost a little bit because I don't know this. Oh, good. So that down they went and, and uh, thankfully not down those pits. So that opens and that closes. And here I go. Good. And now forward. And that's simple enough. Whew. Man, those guys, those guys, and not saving really increases the tension, because I don't want to die. Seriously, I don't want to... Oh, man, okay. I've, I've died a few times already, but... Fortunately, only once did I have to restart the episode, and I did that off-camera off as well, so I am not sure... Um, some of you might not have uh, seen all the episodes before this one. But if you did, you might remember the, uh, an episode where I reached the end of the episode and uh, effectively... No, this is darkness spell, this is light spell. Effectively... No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, that was good timing right there. There you go. A hit on you and another hit on you did not prevent you to cast that time. I wish I remembered the spell for... Um, for the, uh, oh, I'm, I'm missing a quarrel. I am missing a quarrel, that's bad. 
Oh, nope. Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, bad. Bollocks. Good. And yeah, sometimes the quarrels. See, for example, nine over here. Is the quarrel over here? Yeah, what happens basically, since Dan attacks twice, one of the quarrels, the first quarrel, will hit the enemy, but the second one will um, go past him. And this is a good trick if you're stuck. Good. So that's it. That is it. But these guys don't look very friendly. Hello? No, they never, they have never looked friendly in this entire game. And I'm not opening that right now. What I'm gonna do is check for secrets, is check for, check my map, and see what I'm missing because I'm kind of lost. This, this dungeon is a bit problematic in terms of um, getting my grip on, on where I am. Playing this, this dungeon with uh, the no map mode, it would not be very fun. I mean, it would be fun if you're into the challenge of it, but it wouldn't be very fun if you were just trying to get by, try to survive. Especially with all these beasts around. So this looks like this one, this little nook over here, doesn't have anything interesting for me. So that's the way. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Actually, hmm, there's more pits over here, and I want to go that... Uh, down through them but not right now not right now otherwise i might miss on miss out on this actually i i can always come back i'm pretty sure i can always come back oh no 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 i'm not oh man yeah of course of course oh good good no bad bad okay so what i'm gonna do is try and kill him and uh, just uh, go back to the Crystal of Life that I have no idea where it is, but whatever. We will get through, we'll get by, hopefully. Oh, that was risky. That was risky as well. I, you know why Why I did this? You Do you know why I did this? I did this because I was looking for that torch. I was hoping that I'd be able to find the torch. Uh, or, or get the torch sooner rather than later. And turns out... Turns out, Dan is not picking... Ooh, a flail. That's interesting, but that's a heavy weapon. A uh, mace. I, we don't use that. Let's go back. Let's go back. Where's the crystal of life? Where's... I don't think I found a crystal of life in this level. Ooh, boy. This is gonna be a serious... Not that way. Okay, this way. And... Some backtracking. Oh, don't go there. Okay. Close them. There you go. Now lock and go forward. Good. So this is a. Sh oh, actually, did I fall down those? Did I fell down those? I. So it's over here. Yep. I don't need to fall down those because I know what's down there. It's an ogre. It is an ogre. So on my way back, I'll check all these interesting secrets over here. Let, let me just. I don't need to mark it because I know. I need to check that one because there's a. At least a square, or yeah, there's at least one square that's not, that has not been visited, and I'm in the wrong place. I am. Let's go over here, and yep, over there, and is the crystal of life somewhere around here? I need to come back here. I need to come back here. Also, let's check for secrets now that we are here. Good, nothing, and let's go. I, I think I'm gonna need to check either the next, uh, the previous level. There's a locked door. Let's mark it. Oh, actually, I don't need to mark it because uh, there's stuff that I haven't explored over there. And maybe I'll do a better job on my way back. I'm not, not into the noises of fiery creatures around. Really, really not into that. So where's the way back? Oh, this is the light, the shadow puzzle. That's a, an easy way back. And this is a cave in over there. Yep, and this is the, what's it called? The uh, a puzzle about the uh, the drafts. Strongest draft, the draft, or the, whatever. 
where's the crystal of life? Where is it? Sometimes the crystal... Oh, I'm here. I'm over here. Crystal of life is right next to the entrance, which is good. Which is very good. And uh, I'm going to cut the episode right here because I'm gonna make... Actually, I'm not. I'm not. I was gonna say that I'm gonna make my way back to uh, where I was, but I'm not. Because I have plenty, plenty of things to ex left to explore. And this is the way... And I just need to find my way through this maze, this little puzzly thing. And it's, this is not the way, this is the way. There, and now over here, over here. Is that over here? It is. It, it, is it? Nope, it's not. Okay, so that teleports me somewhere that I, you know, probably over, here. over there. Nope, no, and there, maybe, maybe. Is it? Oh, it's not here. Oh man, this is a quite, quite an interesting puzzle, actually. All things considered, it is an interesting puzzle. So back whence we came, and back here again, there's fiery things about. Somewhere over there. Somewhere over there. Yep, I'm gonna, me I'm gonna meet them soon. Because I'm gonna take a right turn right here. Right turn right here. Right, right, right. Open this. And get that fireball, but I know what what I must do. I just need to, yep, go in here instead. There's nothing. Hmm. I'm hearing, I'm hearing noises though. I am hearing noises. Oh, I'm not. Oh, it gets me very tense, very unnerving those noises. Okay, so what's this? It opens that but closes immediately. So I need to. Put some rocks. Oh, that is easy. Oh, maybe it's not though. Maybe I need. It requires timing. Okay, get ready. Oh, that uh, Kalim kind of a bit, kind of too ready too soon. And what the hell am I getting? Okay, so. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Oh boy. This is very dangerous. We got a couple of these fiery guys. I'm gonna try and... Uh, yeah, I was gonna try and um, make sure that the other one blocked this one's path and good. Did I get... Nope, nope. Oh, there. I'm just looking for my quarrels, dude. I'm just looking for my quarrels. And there's somewhere. I missed another one. There it is. And there you see me. I see you. And a double critical. Was that a double critical? I don't think it was. Maybe just one single critical. But that was enough. Ooh, that was pretty good. Pretty damn good. If if uh, if as long as I'm concerned. Okay, there have been people in this hallways before me. But when I went through this place ha here, it seemed like I was the first to open all the doors and press all the buttons. There have to, there have to be some people who oversee the dungeon. Well, maybe. The guys who corrupted the dungeon? Hmm. Maybe those guys with the weird tentacly faces that we found before? Actually, that we found right at the, at the start of this LP. So, okay, so this torch comes with me. Thank you. And this is a cave in. Let's mark it on the map. Okay, this is the cave in that I saw before. And a secret! It's not that big of a secret, is it? Just open. A shaman. Oh, spellcraft 7. Well, looks like it's time for a uh, penumbra to increase our spellcraft. Because that is a very nice staff. A scroll of invisibility that I, uh, that I know of already. No secrets over here. Actually, I said it was a very nice staff, but let's compare it. Oh, plus 20 energy and plus 2 willpower. It's an incredibly powerful staff. It has a description. Also, a rune-covered staff with a pulsating poison green gem attached. Poison green gem attached to its tip. You can sense great power in it. I can sense... I cannot sense anything. I can read the description. That is about as much as I can do. And that is not the end. But that's gonna be it for this one. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Legend of Grimrock. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!